But even later to this party than I was with the Pearl and Backer Fest beer mini keg. Two weeks late, actually. But I haven't bought this. But I'm duty bound to take a look at it and tell you what I think. Uh, it's the Audi beer dispenser here on Scott Review Sings. Again, and welcome back to Scott Review Things. How are you all doing? I hope you're keeping very well. No jokes today. I told that I had no personality and I should cut the jokes out. Um, fuck off. So here we are. Um, the Audi beer dispenser. Um, came out a couple of weeks ago. I am well behind the times on this one. And I make no apologies for it. Uh, I did see it. I've watched, it, I've watched one review, which was from Andy's Beer Reviews. It looked very, very good. He seemed to like it. I can't remember anything about it, to be fair. I didn't pick this beer dispenser up. It was very kindly bought for me for Father's Day by my two stepdaughters, Chantel and Leah. Uh, so I want to thank them for, for picking it up for me. £25 for the beer dispenser. Turn your canned beer into delicious draft beer at home. There was a machine called the physics machine which is a, basically i think this is a cheaper version of the physics machine um beer soda stream i think i called it when it first came out uh what uh what it bears resemblance to with the guinness draft nitro surge i don't really know i don't know anything about the machine at all so you've got the the nitro surge this is probably going to end up like that gathering dust but we're going to see anyway so yeah the ambiano beer dispenser turn your canned beer into delicious draft beer at home enjoy easy pouring beer through a tap if only that was true coming through that tap in there for for cans of 330 mil 350 mil 440 mil of 500 mil so it doesn't do bottles um it can't it too I hope it's got the batteries with it. I'm sure it has two 1.5 volt AA batteries, uh, one switch operation. It's got a drip tray, and that's all I know about it. Now you can say, we haven't got any beer, Scott. What I've done is I've got two exactly the same beer and exactly the same glass. So, as the best beer keg done so well, I've been and splashed out on two cans of the best beer. So, the beer dispenser and we're going to open one can just normally into the staggeringly good stein and then we're going to pour one of these into a staggeringly good stein so same beers same glasses one through the dispenser and one board normally to see if there's actually any difference in this machine and what and what it's telling us it can do so it's 25 pound 24.99 i think it was they so are probably well behind the time on this one so this is i haven't opened it and looked at it so this is the first time i've actually looked at it and seen there goes the destructions if it's any good or not uh let's see if we can get a decent thumbnail so i'm gonna dick around afterwards because that's gonna do my head in so best beer best beer and beer dispenser so i'm hoping to put the batteries with it otherwise that's going to be most disappointing um first impressions it, it feels oh yeah it's got batteries in it that's good um this is what it looks like up close and personal it looks like a penguin um if not the best build quality, it's not the worst. So, all in all, it's okay. If it comes off, so it comes off the top. I think that's where the batteries go. Batteries go in the top bit. Obviously, the can goes in the bottom bit. 
So we can leave that there for the time being. Uh, let's get the batteries in. And we'll have a, a quick look at the disruptions and see what. Oh, we got. Is that a nozzle? What's that doing? Oh, that must be the tap, is it? Oh, idiot. <laughs> That's that bit there. Let's get the batteries in. Is it tell me which way I'm going here? So let's got the the springy bit that way. So that's got to be that one. That's got to be that one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Talk about yourselves. Just get ready for the England match. We know we're right because we've got a purring noise. Spot on. Right, there we go. So, have a look at the instructions and see what they. Uh, separate the top unit, yada 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 yada, close the battery compartment, we've done all that. I'm not a complete cretin. Open the tap by pushing the handle back. Push the handle back for less foam. Open the handle for more foam. Once glass is filled, release the handle and it will automatically snap back. So what you could do is less foam and then as you get to the top, more foam. Interesting. Clean the product after use. Beer may flow, uh, still flow after the tap is released. Wait a few seconds until the beer taps start, start flowing. Okay. So that's the machine in all its glory. Let's get one of these out and just pour it. Now I've done a, a review of the the five litre keg, which is fourteen ninety nine. These these are still available in the jumble sale section in Lidl. Lidl and Audi products in the same video, people. Oh, oh dear. Got to remember which one's which here. So that's the the one I've just poured out the can. And the the. The mini keg is decent, fourteen ninety nine. You might still be able to get them. So it's round the back. Now they've got the, the Iberian, Iberian, Iberian stuff. So the Portuguese and Spanish stuff. I think they've got um, a Spanish brewed Superbock, I think is in there at the moment. Copper coloured, loads of carbonation. Absolutely fantastic. So let's get this puppy on, see what happens. Open the can Rooney. Stick him in there like so. Tuck him in there. All right. So this one is the one a bit like Blue Peter. We put oh don't make jokes, Scott, you're not funny. Okay. Um so it says pull back. Pull back for little foam. Forward for more foam. Let's go for little foam. Interesting. But they pour quite slowly. I don't know what technology this is using. Obviously, the Guinness Nitro Surge uses ultrasonic waves and all that sort of rubbish. We've got quite a lot of foam on this one. Be interesting if the mouthfeel is any different. What did it do? Knock out some of the carbonation? Quite slow, isn't it? Like me. Well, considering that said, it doesn't do a lot of fun. I've got two, well, think, well, one finger of liquid. Quite a lot of foam. That's going well. Uh, excuse my big fat head. I'll have a glass somewhere. See if we can get it. Can little foam. Try the big foam, let's put it forward then. Oh, I'm not going the wrong way. <laughs> and that's what you get for not reading the instructions properly. 
Can I put some foam in it then? Ah, right, okay, I've got it round the wrong way. Got a joystick, haven't it? much more we've got to run out and we're spluttering right when you pour it around the right way <laughs> it, it, you get a nice foam head on it whereas if you do it the wrong way around like fucking dickhead did there then you get a slightly different pull right let's go with a, a comparison on this one rather than with a comparison on that one shall we that's a oh don't make any jokes so Obviously, we're in different glasses now. So, nice uh, foam, foamy head on the uh, the one that's come out of the beer dispenser. And just a nice, clean-looking beer on the one that I poured out of the can without managing to fuck that one up. It's not you are a complete fool. Anyway. What we're after here. And even if I am a complete pleboid, is there any discernible difference between the the mouthfeel of just coming straight out of the can or this £25 WizKid device? That is very nice, very malty, bready malt, toasty. Really malt, nice sweetness to it. Nice mouthfeel anyway in the can. It's one pound forty nine a can, I think. So it's not massively expensive. There is a really nice. I don't think you're going to see that. A nice foamy head come from the the Audi beer dispenser after I managed to pour it right the second time because oh, someone would say, "Oh, you didn't read the fucking instructions." Nope, I did. I read them wrong. Uh, I'm going to it Well, clearly you didn't, you fat twat. You haven't. Open the tap by pushing the back and fill the glass. Oh, for, for, uh, for, for less foam, open the tap by pulling the handle forward. Oh, I don't fucking know. Anyway, see if it takes it, see if it feels any different or not. and they get pissed look. okay okay in honesty there is a difference actually nice beer Ready malts, really nice. It's got a decent mouthfeel as well. Carbonation is actually really good. What this does is it knocks some of that carbonation out of the beer and gives it a perceivable, slightly creamier mouthfeel. Yeah, it's, it's knocked some of that carbonation out. That's not highly carbonated either, but it has given it a slightly creamier mouthfeel to it. Um, which one's better? Is a can, just a normal can of £1.49 Fest beer from Lidl acceptable? Absolutely. Is the Little beer through the Audi device. Beer dispenser. Is it better? That's very much going to come down to your preference. It, it, it says it gives it draft quality. 
obviously I've got a perfect draft upstairs, don't use it, lovely paperweight. Um, it does give it a, so it gives it last, less carbonation. So I, I suppose that's where the draft quality is coming from. Um, it's not bad. I would say it does, it does, it does do, obviously I fucked up the first pour. That's all on me. Um, but let's chuck it in there anyway. It's all going down the same, same hole, isn't it? Um, it's not, it's not a bad machine. It's, it's not, it's, it's not a world beat. If you're expecting it to be some world beating thing, then don't expect that because it's not going to do that. What it does is it does give it a nice creamy body. Um, it knocks some of the carbonation out. Sadly, I don't know if you're going to see that. Obviously, I've knocked some of the carbonation out. So it gives it a, a creamy body. £25. I don't know if they're still available. I think that's okay. I mean, it'll, it'll collect dust forevermore. Um, but I think it's for a bit of fun. I don't think it's right. And it's infinitely cheaper than the physics machine so if you picked one of these up then let me know in the comments what do you think about it obviously i poured the thing wrong in the first place as i usually do we we'll use it again we'll get that right we'll pick two cans up of the same thing and we'll keep going with this might even put it up against that that seems like the thing to do lately as well the guinness surge versus the aldi beer dispenser all good fun nothing wrong with a bit of fun and do the things that amuse you on your own channel so, yeah, um, I'm going to give the Ab Amb Ambiano beer dispenser from Aldi. I'm going to give it a thumbs up, actually. Um, I think it's okay. A bit of fun, and it it makes a perceivable difference to your point. Let me know what you think in the comments. Have you got one? Let me know what you think about it. If you didn't get one, did you wish you got one? I might give it away as a... can't because they bought it for me. That'd be a bit shitty, wouldn't it? Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't give it a thumbs down. There's a subscribe button somewhere. See you soon.